Ed Sheeran's second album, Multiply, came out about two weeks ago. Is it a sophomore slump, or is it a great follow-up to his first album, Plus? So, as I said in the introduction, Ed Sheeran had a new album come out two weeks ago called Multiply. I always thought it was X up until about like 10 minutes ago when I looked it up and then realized it was actually Multiply. Um, and the first single off that was Sing. And it was a very different sound compared to his first album with, you know, um, Lego House and A-Team and all that other stuff. It had more of a hip-hop feel. And it was definitely a good indication of the route that the album was taking as a whole. It's very more, very much more hip-hop influenced than his first album um i've actually seen that in concert uh, he's a great performer great musician um i really enjoyed plus a lot i thought that every song on that was so great and there's always so much meaning behind them and he's a great lyricist as well so all the words really just hold true to a lot of people's lives and that's why he's as popular as he is because he can really you can really connect with him on an emotional level because of his amazing lyrics so going into multiply i was like oh man sing it didn't really do it for me um, because it just felt very simple, uh, not as heartfelt as the first album. Uh, but as I said, it definitely was an indicator of how the album was going to be musically because it is very much a hip hop influenced album. And he really likes hip hop, as I saw in his concert. You know, he covers hip hop songs here and there. So that's definitely where he draws a lot of his influence from um, lyrically because, you know, he always just puts these lyrics in there that you don't really like see coming. And I think he did a great job on this album as well. I think that it's a great follow-up to Plus. Um, and yeah, I think that it's really, really enjoyable. There are some huge standouts, in my opinion, that I'm going to say. Um, and first off, I got the deluxe edition, so I have the bonus tracks as well. So if I include a song in my favorites that you don't have, it's because I have the deluxe edition, so I have all the songs that he released on it. But my favorite song overall is probably Photograph. I think that one is fantastic. Um, I think it's got, once again, just like the first album, Lego House is one of my favorites, mainly because of the meaning behind it. This one's got a great meaning behind it as well. Um, and yeah, so I think Photograph is definitely my number one song. Uh, a couple of interesting ones like are Take It Back. Um, I think that is really interesting because it's basically him rapping, um, but the words in it are just so great. I just really enjoyed his wordsmithship, if that's even a word. I think that he was great. Um very good lyrically on this album, just like his last one. So definitely, I saw it coming, and he definitely followed through. Um, a couple songs, however, don't really stand out to me, and I'm not the biggest fan of them. Uh, for example, the song <clears throat> uh, Runaway is definitely my least favorite. Um, I just, for something, for some reason, something about it just doesn't feel right to me. Uh, there's a couple, like, there's like this looping background uh, lyric sound thing that kind of struck the wrong chord with me. Um, so that was not that great in my opinion. Uh, also a song, a song called uh, shirt sleeves. That one didn't blow me away either. That's one of the bonus tracks. Um, and I know that D take it back is actually a bonus track as well. So that one that I really like a lot, that one's also a bonus track, but then, you know, the, all of the stars, which is the last track on the hard copy, uh, bonus deluxe edition, um, is featured in the fault in our stars. And the song is really, really good. It definitely is emotional. There's a lot of emotional songs in here. Like, as I said, Photograph is one of them. Um, Don't actually has some emotional stuff in it as well, but it's a little more upbeat, a little more hip-hop-ish, sort of in the same realm of Sing. Um, that's actually a second single from the album. And, of course, the lead-off song, the first time I heard it, I fell in love with it, called One. It's so beautiful, and the words in it just are so emotional. He's definitely grown as a person uh, he's grown as a writer and i think that his lyrics are really what stands out in the album more than anything else um and the fact that he does it all by himself he's got his acoustic guitar and his little drum box that he uses so he's doing it all on his own he doesn't have a band behind him he's ed sheeran and it's great you know you see all these people like oh so and so and they use their name as the title of the band except they got a some backup band behind him he's just ed sheeran that's who he is it's just him there's no one else involved. Um, but overall, I really did enjoy it. 
Uh, and I hate a lot of people like, oh, it's it's a different sound for him. It's a different sound for him. He had one album, so what, what else are you really comparing it to? There are a lot of similar sound to some of the songs. As I said, one uh, photograph, stuff like that, feels like stuff that is perfectly in the realm of plus. Um, but then there's also some other songs that I said that are a little more hip hop influenced. But you know, he's drawing off of what he wants to do. Let him do what he wants to do. He's not selling out. It's not changing his sound. He's, his only sound that he had was really one album. And there are songs on there that were also a little more upbeat like that. So the people that are saying that probably just heard the couple singles like A-Team and Lego House. Like, oh, he just does acoustic, melodic artist. But that's not the case at all. He has the acoustic, melodic parts of him, which are fantastic. He also has these hip-hop influence parts of him as well that I think are great as well. So it all depends on what you like and what you're looking for. But I really enjoyed Multiply. Comment below what you thought of it. Did you also think it was pronounced X up until I notified you at the beginning? Let me know. Um, what's your favorite song of the album? As I said, mine is definitely Photograph. That song is great. Photograph and One are the two best songs, in my opinion, that are of the actual album, not the deluxe part. And then, of course, Take It Back and All the Stars are my favorite songs from the bonus tracks. Uh, comment below what you thought of all of them. And... You know, anything else that you have to say about the album or Ed Sheeran as a whole. So, it's been real. See you guys next time.